Well, hello everybody and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And uh, right now we're out at the big tank where I uh, added the blue barrels to expand my uh, water capacity. And I'm uh, getting ready to finalize here because, uh, like I said, I got water coming this week. So, what we're looking at here is the last barrel in the line. And uh, I've already done all the way around, as you can see. Um, I got all of the others all done, and this is the last one in line. And I wanted to uh, kind of show you how I did that. Now, one thing is these pieces, i get this one screwed here. These pieces are designed for this type of uh, uh, drip line, half inch drip line um, plastic. And they have a, uh, the little teeth inside there. And these, you can press down on these two ears when they're, after they're installed, and it'll release those teeth so you can pull the plastic out if you have to. So for some reason I had to um, separate all of the um, air venting from the barrels, I could uh, pop them all off that way. All right, next. This cover is the fine thread cover, okay? This is two inch um, pipe thread, and that's on one side of the barrel. On the other side of the barrel, it has these coarse thread units. And this coarse thread unit is the one that ha already has the three quarter inch threaded um, position in the cap, okay? The other cap didn't have that. So I ended up having to use my unit bit like I did for the barrels and drill in and then tap this with the uh, pipe tap so that this piece will screw into it. All right, let me get that in there now. Don't want to cross thread it. Okay, now these are tapered thread, and this is for air, so I'm not really concerned about putting um, sealant on here, because once these barrels are at a point where water flows out of the air valve, um, I will be shutting off the valve down below, so it, it disconnects them from the main tank. Then the tank will fill up the rest of the way uh, with water, and I'll, I won't open the barrels up um, to uh, equalize until the water gets down below the barrel point here. All right, so this part screws into here. And uh, I do want those to be tight when I get them in. So what I've been doing is uh, I've got a pair of uh, bent nose needle nose pliers here and I use them like a spanner wrench down inside here and I can lock that down. I can do it after I'm done. I'll show you what I did here. Okay, so I got two inch pieces of the plastic pipe here. I cut one for each one of the barrels. So that's gonna go in here. And I'm gonna push it down so it locks into place. All right, the next thing I did was I just rested the T in place and then I go a half inch in and I take a mark there, and then they have these special cutters for this. And uh, when you use these cutters, you don't try to just squeeze on them. You wanna get it set in place and then rotate slightly, and that'll start cutting through the pipe, and then you can finish cutting it off. All right, so now I'm gonna push the T onto the pipe coming from the last T until it's where I want it, and now I can push it down onto this fitting. And then before I move to the next barrel, I took the, uh, the, the half inch pipe and I plugged it back into the T. So now it's ready to go to the next barrel and then I just measure it when I get there. All right, but for right now, I'm not gonna be using that. And you can see, let me turn this a little bit. You can see right here, this is the one that was in the orchard, and there's where one of the little critters chewed through the plastic to get to the water. So from that point, that, uh, that line is no good. So I will be cutting that off 
right here. And that's done. Now this is the last piece and this is hose connection on there. That's a hose thread with a cap. So this will be my vent and it's gonna terminate right here. So when I want to vent it, I'll loosen the cap enough so that air can flow. And I got one on the other end too on the beginning barrel and uh, that will give me venting from both sides which will allow these barrels to fill up from the bottom upward with the uh, water as the water goes into the big tank and uh, that's that all right so we're all done with that i'm going to take the uh, the camera off of the holder i've got here holding it so that you can see what i was doing and I'll come back and tighten that one later. Um, that's not a critical thing. I got a couple more days before my 